This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the X-Zone Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the Exxon Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan, and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere, 24-7-365. And welcome back to the X-Zone, everyone. My name is Rob McConnell, coming to you from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, on the Talkstar Radio Network, x Broadcast Network, UK High Definition Radio, Euro High Definition Radio, Star Cable, and on our broadcast affiliates right across Canada, the United States, the Caribbean, Central America, South America, the Pacific Rim, Asia, India, Africa, and Europe. Like I was telling you uh, the other day, the uh, India is our fourth largest listening audience worldwide. The first is the United States, Canada, number two, the United Kingdom, number three, and India, number four. If you'd like to give us a call, worldwide toll-free, 1-800-610-7035. Email xzone at xzoneradiotv.com. On MSN Messenger, xzoneradiotv at hotmail.com. And our website, www.xzoneradiotv.com. My guest this hour, Exxon Nation, is a gentleman I have had the pleasure of knowing for many years now. He is Dr. Louis Touré, and uh, like the great prophet Nostradamus. Dr. Torrey was born and raised in Provence, France. This is where he had three astonishing UFO experiences. In 1976, he received the highest distinction uh, musicianship award cup and graduated from the Royal School of Music in London. After a series of UFO experiences, he was led to the United States. Arriving with less than $50 in his pocket, he has since established himself as a successful astrologer, author, and lecturer. Joining me now is my good friend, Dr. Louis Turi. And uh, Dr. Turi, always great having you here in the Exxon. How are you, sir? Absolutely wonderful. Very, very busy. It's an honor again to be with you, Rob. Thank you for inviting me, my friend. You know that you have an open invitation here, Dr. Lu- uh, Dr. Tory. You are a true visionary. And before we get into the interview, uh, Dr. Tory, I'd like to ask you your thoughts on December the 21st, 2012. Is it doom and gloom or is this something totally different? Absolutely not doom and gloom at all. It's just a golden gate, um, a new pathway to the to humanity to upgrade uh, their reasoning their perception mm-hmm. uh, the cosmic code is constantly moving and it's an uplifting of the spirit put it this way no drama no death no end of the world why is it then dr tory so many people want to put a doom and gloom spin on this joyous time in our civilization and our and our evolution i look at it as We, the human race, are finally coming out of our cocoon, and we are going to be turned into butterflies. (laughs) Yeah, you can put it this way. What happened is uh, 99.09% of the people making up the population of this world Mm -hmm. do not possess cosmic consciousness. So they can only use either scientific old facts, what they perceive as facts, of course, conspiracy material, or religious, dogmatic, archaic stuff. Um, but once you understand the face and the tools of God or the supraconscious in time and space, you get a brand new perspective, a new understanding how things move on within a universal mind. 
So uh, basically, uh, people can only relate to you or me because of their education, their experiences, and most of all, their UCI, which means they are staff or unique celestial identity. All right, my good friend, please stand by. We have to take a commercial break. We'll be back in two minutes. Exxon Nation, our very special guest for this hour, Dr. Louis Turi. Here's a website I'd like you to check out. It's all about Dr. Turi's Cosmic Code, www.cosmiccode.drturi.com. That's C-O-S-M-I-C-C-O-D-E dot D-R-T-U-R-I dot com. And Dr. Louis Turi and I will be back on the other side of this two-minute commercial break as the Exxon continues from our studios in beautiful Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. My name is Rob McConnell. Don't go away. Take a step back in time and discover old Florida cuisine at Marsh Landing Restaurant in Felsmere. Enjoy delicacies such as frog legs, gator tail, catfish, and swamp cabbage, or enjoy the more traditional cuisine like hand-cut Angus steaks, ribs, and seafood. Join us for breakfast with a southern flair featuring sweet potato pancakes, biscuits and gravy, and much more. Planning a party? Marsh Landing's private dining room can accommodate groups from 8 to 80 people. While you're visiting, enjoy the historic pictures, artifacts, and stories that line the walls. Marsh Landing is truly a unique experience. Marsh Landing Restaurant, 44 North Broadway in historic Felsmere. Or visit marshlandingrestaurant.com. Marsh Landing, old Florida cuisine at its best. This is Johanna Carroll, host of Dialogue with Divinity on the X-Zone Broadcast Network. While walking along Kanapali Beach in Maui this past year, I kept discovering all these shells and coral in the shape of hearts. My dialogue with divinity was very simple. Do you want me to do a retreat to heal people's hearts in Maui next year? And of course, the answer was yes. As a master spiritual teacher, I am offering you a neat retreat called Rise, May 8th through the 12th, 2017 and the chance of a lifetime to rest at a five-star resort for five days and experience a spiritual renewal of your heart and soul. Kanapali is one of the top five beaches in the world. This stunning resort has undergone a $40 million renovation. I walked the entire property, checked out the room choices on your behalf, and I must say it is stunning. Our conference room faces the ocean with sliding glass doors. Maui is known as Mother Maui because it is a soft, gentle, healing energy. In the embrace of Mother Maui, you will feel yourself rising from the limitations of an ordinary life to an extraordinary journey of peace, bliss, and harmony, a greater sense of clarity. Our Rise Retreat ignites renewal in the sacred elements of air, water, earth, fire, and wind. There's plenty of free time to enjoy all that Maui has to offer. A small deposit is required now to reserve your space as this retreat, it will sell out. For more details, please go to johannacarroll.com and register today. Aloha and I'll see you in mystical Maui. And welcome back to the Exxon, everyone. Uh, this coming February 17, 18, and 19, I'm going to be the Master of Ceremonies at the Body, Mind, Soul Expo being held here in Toronto at the International Centre, 6900 Airport Road in Mississauga. Sharing the booth with me is my guest this hour, my friend Dr. Louis Torrey. So when you come by to see Dr. Torrey, you'll be able to join us and chat with us from the X-Zone, Relmar McConnell Media Company, the X-Chronicles newspaper. We're going to have Paragator staff there. Or if you come to see us, you'll be able to meet the one and only Dr. Torrey. That's uh, this coming February 17, 18, 19 at the International Center, 6900 Airport Road in Mississauga, Ontario. Now, if you'd like to get more information on the Toronto Body, Mind, Soul Expo, or any of the other 
events that Chandler Armstrong and company puts on across Canada and the United States, visit their website at www.bodysoulspiritexpo.com. That's www.bodymindspirit.expo.com. Dr. Tori, uh, what can we learn from astrology? Well, first of all, you have to make sure to understand that I do practice astropsychology. That doesn't take anything away from astrology, don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it is not a religion. It's something that you have to investigate. And in order to build cosmic consciousness and be able to see and hear God in action through his creation, uh, one has to put some time into it. Let me put it this way. The Bible says, I'll talk to you, you won't hear me. I'll present myself to you, you won't see me. It's only once you understand the dynamics of the universal mind, which is directly interacting with the human psyche, that you raise your cosmic consciousness and you can make a good use of this very rare art and science. You saw three UFOs. You were born in the same town where that Nostradamus comes from. You came to the United States, and ever since I've known you, you've been helping people one way or another to understand their spirituality, help them progress into the oncoming, what we call New Age or Age of Enlightenment. When did you first realize, Dr. Tori, that your mission in life was one of helping people better understand themselves, their spirituality, and the evolution of humankind? Well, oh gosh, you know, this is an interesting question that I get quite a lot. Um, there is so many variations. I, I, wrote, I wrote everything that happened to me right from the get-go in my book, Beyond the Secret, including my four UFOs experiences. Uh, but I can only tell you this, Rob, incredible experiences, breed incredible people, mm-hmm. that have incredible uh, things to share with other people. I find out, <clears throat> once I graduated from the Royal School of Music in London, I thought I was going to be, you know, playing piano and singing and cutting record during those days <laughs> within that cities. Um, but after these UFOs, action, and, and, you know, my entire perception and conception of life changes. I really knew that I was born to do something else than just entertain people. I was to deal with the truth. And, and I wasn't planning it. I wasn't preparing it. It just uh, is part of my UCI, uh, unique celestial identity. It's part of my stars and my God-given mission to do so. So it just landed on me, put it this way, Rob. Could you tell us about the three UFO sightings that you had in France? Um, they were... T- uh, they were not exactly sighting. <laughs> they were actually very, very close, direct physical contact. Mm, the first one, of course, is when I was a child and I was punished and stuck in the attic. Oh, geez. And, and I saw for the first time this uh, three little thing in the bottom of my bed. And <laughs> I mean, nobody in uh, 1956 uh, or 57 in my little village, tiny little village in the south of France, would know anything about UFO, especially when we, don't, we didn't have a radio or television, had only one channel, maybe. I'm not sure. It's such a long time. Um, but um, this visitation were taking place every single night. And, uh, uh, you know, I used to scream my head off, waking up the entire neighborhood. So they really thought I was mentally disturbed. Uh, and uh, following the, the school psychologist, they were supposed to fix my head with electrical shock. Uh, because during those days, of course, we didn't mm. have a Ritalin or Prozac. So, luckily for me, my mom, uh, you know, didn't let uh, me go through this process. And that's why I kept my sanity. So, the first one was pretty much a uh, little grace, you know, coming into my bedroom, scaring the hell out of me. I mean, sometimes I used to pass out, literally. But I always walk up the, the next morning, might be screaming my head off, but alive and, and healthy. So it lasts for many, 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 many years. Uh, and, and that was it. That's the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want me to go into the second one? Oh, yeah, yes, yes, please. The second one um, is, is more of a direct contact. As I was uh, 
uh, taking my sister uh, in the French mountains to mm-hmm. where she used to work, we got lost. Um, and to get the story short, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm desperate for a cup of coffee and to uh, find some places open uh, so that I could uh, ask for directions. And there you go. In the middle of the night, around 4.30 in the morning, I landed in, in the little auberge. That's very weird. A <laughs> little auberge open in the middle of the night in the south of France. Whoa, wait a minute here. <laughs> this is not like McDonald's uh, 24 hours. 24-7, open yeah. This is get in the United States. But that is something that's still wondering in my mind. <clears throat> so when I arrived at this place, I parked my car, and I knew very well there's nobody else but me when I arrived. Wake up my little sister, let her sit in the corner, and then I went to the bar. And, oh, my gosh, I saw three huge guys. I mean, they would make any American top footballer look like kids. Wow. They were so tall. As a matter of fact, my nose was at the size of the belt of one of these three guys who was standing on my left side. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then he turned around, he looked at me, and they asked me to play some cards. And I told him politely that I was too tired, I didn't want to play cards, I just wanted to get, you know, my cup of coffee and get directions. Mm-hmm. But he says, no, 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 you're going to be friends with cards for the rest of your life. Uh, and, and to this date, I don't even know how to pay, pl- to pay poker, anything, but... I played a tarot card, and each hand is a winner, trust me. <laughs> so he was right somewhere, somehow. But, but to, again, what he did, <clears throat> each time he pulled a card, as soon as my eyes were on the card, he was telling me what it was. Then I, I thought, oh, my gosh, this, this is an interesting game. And this is where you said to me, Louis, never told him my name, this is not a game, especially when I tried to challenge him in my mind, changing the nine of diamonds for the queen of spades. And he looked at me and says, Louis, you are not going to change the nine of the, 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 the nine of diamonds from the queen of spades. And then of a sudden, I felt like if I had a screwdriver coming from one side of my temple to the other, and I was holding at the bar, and then I asked the barman where the bathroom was, which was just barely five feet away. The door was open. I went in there. I put some really cold water trying to keep my balance and keep conscious. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the pain was just uh, incredible. And then I was talking to this guy in my head. And then I said, oh, my gosh, I don't care how big you are. And the tiger in me is going to come out. You better tell me what the hell you're doing to me. And by the time I walk out, maybe might not even 10 seconds, those three guys were gone. Then I asked the barman where they were. They said, what did you just left? So I went outside, looked left and right, listened, nothing, nobody. Oh, my gosh. I wake my sister up, and I told her, let's get the hell out of here real fast. I didn't, I didn't even recall paying the guy. But what I'm trying to tell you is um, as soon as I get into the car, the next thing I realize, it was 9 o'clock the next day I was driving back home. So where have I been all night? <clears throat> never took my sister anywhere. I don't remember anything, never my sister. But for three consecutive weeks, I had the almost awful, awful, painful headache you could wish on my worst enemy. So that was my second one, and it was very, very physical. And tell us about your final one, because this all leads up to the person who you are today. Okay, well, that one, I skip another big one with my brother, where I had uh, a flying saucer suspended, uh, you know, 30 feet above our head uh, in the south of France, November 11, 1981. The next one was August 11, 2001. That's when uh, my wife and I, my ex-wife and I, we were sucked into the belly of a flying saucer on the way to Los Angeles, and we end up 90 miles north, 90 miles north past our destination. <clears throat> and um, once I was regressed twice by top uh, um, hypnotherapist uh, in Victor, Victorville in California, everything was on television, everything was uh, uh, recorded. And you could see my expression and explain for me to see that I was inside of a flying saucer. I saw the extraterrestrial taking the womb out of my wife. That's why she divorced me, because she doesn't want to get into these things anymore. So they took the baby. She was pregnant. Um, and then I went into another room where something came from the roof, like a helmet. And this is where I imploded, literally. This is where I felt uh, a mixture of electricity, concrete, uh, Still, I cannot really explain, but I was downloaded 
the cosmic code of addictions and understanding every single planet's purpose and how they affect the human psyche. Unreal. Unreal, but real. <clears throat> a lot of people could think <clears throat> Dr. Therese is doing too much pot, which I never did in my life, touch any form of drugs. Or I'm trying to write a movie <laughs> for Hollywood now. This, this is, uh, I'm a real actor in the real story here, I'll put it this way. All right, Dr. Turi, please stand by. Always great talking to you. Exonation. Nation, our guest this hour is Dr. Louis Turi. Website I'd like you to go to and check out is cosmiccode.drturi.com. That's cosmiccode.drturi.com. And as I was saying, Dr. Turi is going to be at the uh, Body, Mind, Soul, and Spirit Expo this coming February uh, 17, 18, and 19 at the International Center, which is located at 6900 Airport Road in Mississauga, Ontario, right across the street from Pearson International Airport. For more information, www.bodysoulspiritexpo.com. And uh, I'll be there as well as the Master Ceremony, so not only will you be able to say hi to everyone here at the X-Zone that I've been talking about, and you'll meet the uh, people that I work with, but you'll also have the pleasure of meeting my friend, Dr. Louis Touré. Once again, BodySoulSpiritExpo.com. We'll be back on the other side of this news break as we continue. We're right here from our beautiful studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Don't go away. This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. Did you know that when you're on the road with limited data or Wi-Fi, you can still listen to the X-Zone Radio Show with Rob McConnell, The Science of Magic with Gwilda Wiaka, X-1, Dimension X, Space Patrol, and every minute of the X-Zone Broadcast Network by calling 213-401-0080, courtesy of Audio Now. No smartphone, app, or internet needed. It saves your data plan, and it's free if you have unlimited minutes. Call 213-401-0080 to listen on any phone, anytime, anywhere. Remember, 213-401-0080 for the best of the paranormal, parapsychology, and sci-fi radio programming anywhere, 24-7-365. And welcome back, XO Nation. I'd like to say hi to our listeners uh, uh, listening to us in St. Helens, Oregon at KOHI, and the good people who listen to us in Oklahoma at KKRP, 1-800-610-7035, worldwide, toll-free. Email exxon at exxonradiotv.com. On MSN Messenger, exxonradiotv at hotmail.com. And our website, www.exxonradiotv.com. Don't forget this coming Friday, September the 9th, the X Chronicles newspaper 9-11 Tribute Edition will be out and available at xchronicles-newspaper.com forward slash publisher as well as there are over 25 past editions of the X Chronicles newspaper for you to read online with our compliments and the compliments of our many advertisers. Dr. Louis Turi is my special guest, and as you members of the X Zone Nation who have been listening to us for the past 20 years know, he's no stranger to the X Zone. His website, D, uh, Dr. Turi. I'm sorry, the website is cosmiccode.drturi.com. And uh, before we went to the commercial break with the news, uh, Dr. Turi, we were talking about your ET experiences. And is there any legacy that the ETs have left and told you about? Uh, indeed, uh, pretty obvious one as far as I'm concerned. But you have to remember, um, um, physical matter do not agree with anti-matter on this dense physical world. So... Um, they left me something which is uh, unarguable in terms of doing predictions, and with your permission, I could give some dates. So yes, sir, your please. audience, including yourself, can check the values of my claim. Is that correct? Yes, go right ahead. 
All right, so I'd like to give um, the date of uh, September the, um, uh, let's see, let's see. I'm going to give September the 8th, and that is for large earthquake and uh, um, tsunami or anything to do with the sudden release of energy, to a volcano. Let's put it this way, okay? The key word is shocking news. Mm -hmm. uh, September 18th and September 30th, these are very interesting dates that I'm giving for September for you to check. And I do have other dates, but it's all in the cosmic codes for people to investigate. But that is a couple of dates that I want you to make a note of. All right. When it comes to prophecies, we've all heard of Nostradamus. We, we know that you come from the same town and, and that there's very many similarities between you and Nostradamus. I don't know if you've ever been asked this, Dr. Tory, but is it possible that you, Dr. Louis, Louis Touré, are, in fact, the reincarnation of Nostradamus. Well, you know, I've been called, been called that so many, many times. That the fact is, I'm Dr. Cherry, I'm not Nostradamus. But I was born under the same stars in Provence, and I inherited that portion of the stars that make me uh, very much, uh, uh, the, you know, a magnet when I attract a piece of wood. If I was born under the same stars and behave the same ways and have a, a life based upon healing and predictions and forecasting and prophet type of work, so obviously it does work. Um, but you need to understand that, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that talk about Nostradamus, they so-called channel Nostradamus and write about Nostradamus, um, <laughs> but Nostradamus was an astrophile, and these people do not even know what the word astrophile means. Uh, they do not understand Nostradamus' work. They are not aware of the curse that Nostradamus put on charlatans, the astrologers and psychics that would uh, uh, hurt his integrity. There's so many things involving Nostradamus' work. And people out there just to make a few bucks, I guess, uh, uh, not uh, disregarding the integrity of the prophets and his, uh, and his work in prophecies. What are some of your prophecies, uh, Dr. Turi, pertaining to this world we live in? Uh, there are so many people that are not only looking at December the 21st as the end of the Mayan calendar, the doom and gloom of the, of the cosmic, uh, 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 the galactic alignment, but they're also calling it the end times as talked about in the book of Revelations, the apocalyptic times. Mm -hmm. what, do we have for, have... what do we Go have ahead. forward to look forward to? Well, first of all, I, I repeat myself. Now, um, this, the human spirit has been hijacked by uh, the political and the churches of the old days. Um, and right from the birth of Jesus Christ, that's what the Bible said, three wise men, three kings were following mm -hmm. the stars. Okay? So those three guys were nothing else than astrologers. And the ministry, the actual, initial, real ministry of Jesus was to introduce humanity to our Father in the heavens, which means lead the, the world into cosmic consciousness. But that <laughs> was too much. It was too much wisdom. And sharing wisdom is loss of power. So, you know, some groups in <laughs> the Illuminati are not interested in giving you knowledge because knowledge is power. So my, what you want to be prepared is the end of the age of Pisces uh, and the birthing of the age of Aquarius took place in 1945 when uh, we detonated the first uh, bomb using uranium, Uranus, Aquarius, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, and since then, humanity has made much more discovery in 50 years than 2,000 years spent in the, the world of Pisces. Now, Pisces was the Middle East and affect the language of the Middle Eastern people. So when they speak, they seem to speak another water. I'm not making joke. I'm just using metaphor for people to understand Neptune, the planet of gas, drugs, the planet of rules, confinement, deception, illusion, synagogue, church, misleading, deception, drugs, alcohol, parts, chemicals. This planet rules the Middle East. And this is where the three major, youngest, deadliest religions were born, so to speak. And that's why the Middle East is now imploding as the age of Pisces is dying. So is the Middle East, because the new age of Aquarius and its technology advanced, the Internet and all these things, is now offering the truth. So people 
um, people like me have an option to be read all over the world. Once upon a time, uh, the church monopolized everything. That's why you had a Bible in every in every drawer, in every hotel in the world. But they cannot put a laptop anymore. So what I'm trying to tell you, the age of Aquarius is taking over, and it's going to be real fast. Uh, as we are moving into um, this new perception of the future, the future of humanity, the technology that you have today in five or six years will be a joke compared to what we're going to be able to do. The connection with extraterrestrial will finally be established and acknowledged. Um, my mission to free humanity from fear and ignorance and deception will be kicking big time in a few years from now. I can already see all that. I'm uh, moving in that direction real fast. So humanity has to, one more thing to learn, one more thing to learn. So we have accomplished such an incredible progress, technologically speaking. Mm -hmm. We went to the moon, we create the internet, GPS. It's just amazing what we have done on the physical, physical side of humanity. But in the spirit, we are still down there, okay? With Hala, Buddha, Muhammad, the Mormon, Hare Krishna, witness of Jehovah, Fatima, gurus in Perus, with the, the entire spiritual world, because the manipulation is just totally messed up. So there is no balance between the physical and the spiritual manifestation. And all we're trying to do, me and many other people blessed with supra consciousness, is to bring that awareness to the world. Don't feed evil. Understand the supraconscious in time and space. Understand that the future is the reincarnation of the thought. As much as you, Rob McDonald, you wanted to be on the radio, you are on the radio. You need to understand that your body is symmetrical. You have two eyes, two arms, two legs, two feet, two sides of a brain. You're like a walking battery. And each time you give in to evil, to negativity, to fear, to the past, to guilt, you are discharging your battery. Do not allow yourself to listen to anything that gives you fears because endorsing these fears is misusing uh, the supraconscious in time and space, which is responsible for the reality that we are creating every single day. Let Humanity me... and science have not yet grasped this, and this is what I'm trying to pass on in every one of my appearances and my interviews. Let me ask you this, my friend. Is that why when I get certain guests on the, on the show, within a few seconds of them being on the show, even during the pre-show prep that, that we always do with our guests, I get a feeling whether or not this person is being honest, if they have integrity, or if they're just trying to pull the wool over my eyes and the listener's eyes. And when I feel that, I get very defensive. <laughs> well, you're intuitive as simple as that. Uh, you have the instinct of protection, the instinct of a human protection which kicks in obviously you don't want to hear anything negative but in so many ways a lot i, I can only repeat myself rob 99.09 percent of talking heads out there okay do not possess cosmic consciousness they can only regurgitate their scientific background or their religious apocalyptic view they are poisoned with and they are unconscious of what they're doing to themselves. They cannot auto-analyze themselves because they haven't been under the stars to see how they stand under the stars so they do not understand who they are. Exonation, our guest this hour is Dr. Louis Toure. Here's the website I'd like you to visit, cosmiccode.drtoure.com. That's C-O-S-M-I-C-C-O-D-E. Dot D -R -T -U -R -I dot com. Is there a chance, Dr. Turi, that listeners around the world tonight could be part of something that is so great and so fantastic that they could actually help catapult us into the realm of spirituality, for lack of a better word, or into the greater part of human uh, of universal consciousness if we only get together and were to put our negative thoughts out of our mind and just think of of good things of positive things like like the hippies used to say you know uh all you need is love mm -hmm. rob you're already doing it you don't seem to realize a magnet would not attract a piece of wood the reason why we're friends is because we vibrate at the same level 
Okay, and even though that you could attract the opposite sometimes, mm -hmm. in so many ways, you already are into the light. You have been put in a position in your show where you can reach a lot of people, and some of your guests as a mediator uh, have to express themselves too. Mm -hmm. And then it's the audience that has to, through listening and uh, um, reasoning and using critical thinking, to realize who has what to offer to them. And so you're already in the process as a light worker in helping me to pass on my message to the world. When you do a tarot reading for people, do you also incorporate your astrological or your astropsychology? And um, how, does, how do you find that this helps a person enhance their daily lives? Okay, first of all, you have to understand that um, the astro tarot can only be performed by any of my students because the tarot cards are 72 cards, and it's an offense to use the minor arcade. You can only use the 22 major arcade, which are the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet, and that is directly connected with uh, the divine astrology used by Nostradamus. Okay. So in many ways, uh, the tarot, is, when I do a reading with somebody via Skype or on the telephone, uh, I, I, I do not want anybody to talk to me. I say, please do not talk. I already know where you come from and where you're going. And I shock some people big time when I work. I tell them, you could talk when we're done, when I'm done channeling, because uh, everything goes straight into the tape, and I cannot change the predictions and the dates, the teaching of the universal laws that apply to, to the caller, to the person who needs help. And the, the tarot is a confirmation. That's where it gets very scary, because... Um, because I say something, for example, I said to them before you, they start, uh, well, it looks like you're already going to die and be born again, I pathetically speak to you. Next thing you know, the first card I pull is a death card, right. trying to make people aware there is no death. They're just raising to a different level, to a different vibration. So it, the tarot, especially the way I practice it, is a confirmation of what I already said previously, as the subconscious is ready to talk to me. So that is an interesting way to practice the astral tarot. Of course, I teach all that. All right, my friend, you've got my date of birth. I'd like you to do something over this commercial break. Prepare a small reading for me, if you wouldn't mind, and tell me what I have to look forward to in my future days. You bet. I would just need uh, to have... I know you were born in April. I need the rest. Okay, I'll give you the rest as soon as we uh, go to the break. Exo Nation, Dr. Louis Turi is my special guest. CosmicCode.drturi.com. That's CosmicCode.drturi.com. And as I said, uh, Dr. Turi will be out at the Body, Soul, Spirit Expo, February 17, 18, and 19 in Mississauga, Ontario, 6900 Airport Road. That's right across the street from Pearson International Airport. I'll be right beside him. We'll be back on the other side of this break. Don't go away. In over 36 years in law enforcement, I've learned a few things. The most important is the proper gathering and preservation of evidence is vital to putting the bad guy behind bars. It's no different in the world of paranormal investigation, whether it's the search for the afterlife, cryptozoology, extraterrestrials, and UFOs. How we gather that evidence of their existence, preserve that same evidence, and present it to a court of our peers will make the ultimate difference in proving the existence of worlds and entities that are beyond our imagination. Imagination. Come with me on a journey that seeks to prove with undisputable evidence what man has struggled to believe for centuries. Join me, Larry Lawson, host of the Paranormal Stakeout, coming to the X-Zone Broadcast Network. Check out the broadcast schedule for Paranormal Stakeout with yours truly, Larry Lawson, at www.xzbn.net. For more information about me, my travels, and my team, check out our website at www.paranormalfbi.com or join us on Facebook at Florida Bureau of Paranormal. I am Dr. Carl O'Helvey, founder, president of a new cancer foundation focusing on evidence-based physical, mental, and spiritual interventions, including natural cancer cures, prayer, meditation, affirmations, nutrition, and other related holistic cancer prevention and cure modalities. 
These are used in cancer education, research, and financing care. I ask for your help to continue this important work by donating at www.holisticcancerfoundation.com. You're listening to the X-Zone Broadcast Network, www.xzbn.net. X-Zone Nation, our guest this hour is Dr. Louis Turi. If you'd like more information, visit Cosmic Code. Dot D-R-T-U-R-I.com. That's Cosmic Code dot Dr. Turi dot com. And for more information about the Body Soul Spirit Expo, visit their website at www.bodysoulspiritexpo.com. All right, uh, Dr. Turi, before we went to the break, I gave you my request for a small reading to see what I've got to look forward to in my future. So go ahead, sir. All right, so you were born in April into the constellation of Aries, and of course your sun sign is in Taurus. Again, remember, Notre Dame didn't have a watch or a computer, so I had to redesign a software Mm -hmm. to bring the planets where they belong, and also not to forget that Julius Caesar didn't want his politician to be in power too long, so he messed up the Julian calendar, which is used by modern astrologers. All right, so you, like me, you were born with the moon in Gemini, and that's a gift of youth, a tremendous aptitude in communication, a writer, a talker. Of course, you have master at your age, <laughs> the power of listening. This moon sometimes affects the mind. It could make you also an ADD, which is not a disorder, by the way. It's a gift. Einstein was ADD, so am I, and so was Clinton. So this moon in Gemini makes you really fast, intellectual, making you a messenger of the gods. So it's not surprising as the moon in Gemini regulates your emotional response to life for you to be in broadcasting industry. Uh, your maker is an Aries, so you're born to be a leader of the mind. Your Venus is on your first house, makes you uh, less uh, aggressive than the typical Aries. Jupiter is there, making you very lucky with foreigners and in foreign land. But most of all, oh my gosh, your dragon's head is in Aquarius. Anything to do with the new age, your UFO, technology, the future of humanity, anything to do with extraordinary, uh, your dragon said is right there in your friends and groups area. So anytime you, you have a new friend, your wishes will take place. Anytime you move on to a group or you're part of a gathering which is advanced or special, uh, and I know you have a connection with uh, Mr. Chandler, mm-hmm. um, so you definitely have an op- opportunity to reach your wishes from this area. Caution, caution, caution. The tail of the dragon is in Leo on the medical aspect of my work, this rules your heart. And with Pluto in the sign of Leo, uh, you probably will have to undergo some problem there. So you, there is so many ways for you to regenerate, and I will explain that to you uh, once the show is over through email. Uh, as far as the future is concerned, right now you have the tail of the dragon affecting your mind and your home, so it means relocating or rebuilding the environment at home, doing something with the real estate. And as you hit the year 2012 all the way to 2014, you're going to have the head of the dragon on your eighth house of metaphysics, uh, corporated endeavors, which also would affect your contract, your partnerships, and your general finances. So in other words, you're going you're gonna to have a God and the devil becoming friends to help you uh, as we are going to get to this timing. Okay, Louis, that's great news. Uh, I look forward to working with you and seeing you at the Body, Soul, Spirit Expo. And uh, until then, my good friend, thank you for all the great work that you do. I know that you touch many hearts each and every day. Uh, let our listeners know how they can find out more about you, Louis. Well, basically, uh, they just have to follow your direction. Go to the Cosmic Code Dr. Cherry, and then from there you can get my books. You can sign up uh, for a year. Uh, there is so many options for you to be uh, to raise your own cosmic consciousness if you join my international family. And by the way, earlier you were talking about India. Yes. Guess what? After the United States, India are the most people that come to my website. Wow. And I got eight mi- past 8 million hits. <laughs> when you type Dr. Terry on go. Google. All so right. this is good news. Dr. Terry, take care of yourself. Regards to your family, and I look forward to the next time you and I meet here in the Exxon. God bless you and your listening. Take okay. care, my friend. Bye-bye, my friend. Bye-bye. Ron. Dr. Louis Turi, www.cosmiccode.drturi.com. I'll be back on the other side of this break with the news here in the Exxon. Don't go away. <laughs> 